Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you returning, it's nice to have you back. And for those of you that are new, hello, my name is Erica. I'm a homeschooling, homemaking mama of five. I needed some sunshine, so even though it was a little cold this day, I went outside and decided to work on my, this is in my backyard. Uh, so I guess my back side yard. Um, I don't know how to explain that. But anyway, I have a little, you know, flower bed in here and that's a Jack Daniels uh, whiskey barrel fountain. And then I have some succulents and stuff in there. We call them chicks and hens here. I, I think chicks and hens are succulents. That's what I was always told. And I, I mean, they grow like succulents. So I'm just done winding my, or winding back up my hose. Yeah, I know, y'all. I look like a homeless hillbilly right now, but I am comfortable. I don't know where this flannel jacket came from, but it's mine. I think it's one of my boys. I love blowing leaves. It always makes such a big difference. It was amazing how many leaves came out of this, this small little bed. I don't have a vitamin D deficiency or anything like that, but you know, sometimes outdoors, I've been in a funk lately. I don't even really know how to describe it. Not depressed or anything, just kind of, ugh. And I just needed to get outside, and it did. It made a world of difference. I worked outside for probably about two or three hours a day, just kind of cleaning up. I know this isn't a huge transformation, but it definitely looks a lot better. Gosh, look at all those leaves. And I still had some in there. Okay, so this is a little project I wanted to do. I saw somebody was, I got this idea off of Pinterest. My daughter had this old little place full uh, dollhouse, so I'm going to make it into a haunted house, slowly but surely, over the next couple weeks. So I thought I'd bring y'all along for the process, and then eventually I'll make a whole video from start to finish, but I just repainted it black. I washed it off and stuff, of course. But I thought it looked cute in my bathroom. Y'all know I got a, a haunted voodoo bat. Well, it's not voodoo, but um, it's a little haunted bathroom, I guess. All right, y'all. So this is kind of a typical mess for my kitchen. There's usually things here and there. And then I clean up. I always clean up about once a day, sometimes twice, just because a lot of times there's a mess. My dishes, sometimes I can keep up with them, sometimes I don't. It, it just really depends on my mood. But I was trying to show you guys kind of what I do in a day. I usually have some kind of random activity this day. It just happened to be being outside with the leaves. And then I was cleaning up before I made dinner. I gotta brag on my hubby for a minute. That drill y'all showed, I just showed you, he got that for me for Christmas specifically because I was cleaning in my videos with his drill to like with the drill brush and stuff to clean stuff. And he said, well, you need your own so you can take it here and there and you don't have to worry about coming and finding mine. I think it wasn't so that I wouldn't use his, it was so that I had my own. It was really sweet. If y'all heard the voiceover that he did with me on my last video, um, Y'all know he and I have a have a wonderful time together. I'm, I'm very blessed. Uh, we're a very good team. So. Those are farm eggs. They're fresh eggs. If you don't wash them, you can keep them on your counter, I think, for six weeks. Something like that. We go through eggs really quickly. My mother-in-law gave those to me, so that's why the eggs aren't in the... I didn't put them in the refrigerator. My sink is full because I, before this video I had made meatloaf for dinner and that's what the big pan, the big bowls were for, but also my dishwasher hadn't finished running in time so the kids had put, you know, their dishes in the sink, which is fine if the dishwasher's running. I just prefer it sitting there and then load it up instead of them wash it by hand. They, you know, don't do the best job of washing dishes by hand, so it's just, I prefer it go in the dishwasher. 
Y'all, my drain is not meant for a large sink like this, so sometimes it's real easy for it to get, you know, backed up real quick. I don't fill my sink up to wash my dishes. I, I know if it seems like I'm wasting water, I'm sorry. That's just the way I do it. I don't, it doesn't seem clean to me to just, to have all of your dishes in one, in one, you know, big thing of water, if that makes any sense. So what I do to kind of compensate for the water that I use is I let it run over, you know, a heavy coated bowl or pan or dish or whatever, something that needs to soak a little bit. So that way it's breaking it up and it's not completely being wasted. That's nothing against anyone that does their dishes like that. It's just, it's just my preference. Cause Lord knows, I'm sure there's a lot cleaner houses out there than mine. It's just, just my preference. You know, to each his own. It'd be a doll and born world if we all did things the same way, wouldn't it? In case y'all are wondering if I own a hairbrush, I do. Um, ironically, I actually lost it that day. I did find it. Like, I didn't lose it, lose it. But <laughs> I had my hair down, and I meant to brush it, and I walked off to go look for it, and I couldn't find it. Ideally, I like to run my dishwasher at night, but it was completely full, so. And here is my clean kitchen. It looks like this for about five minutes a day. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my mac and cheese. When I showed you my pantry video, I showed you an astronomical amount of noodles and told y'all about our love for mac and cheese. So you boil a pot of noodles of the elbow, whatever, follow the back of the deck. Ugh directions. I do half a block of Velveeta, half a stick of butter, and then just, you know, stir it around till it melts. And then I dump a fairly large amount. It's probably about two cups of shredded cheese. And yeah, I mean, I just, I eyeball everything. There are seven of us in this house and this pot of mac and cheese will probably be good for at least two meals. So we do not eat all of this in one setting. I know it's really unhealthy, but that was our dinner. I made homemade meatloaf, mac and cheese, and... Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed my video. I enjoyed making it. Jeremy and I are currently out driving around on our date night. And by date night, I mean we went to Sam's Club and got groceries and got Sam's Club sushi and ices. And then I also ran into Ulta to get some of this, the CC cream feel so stupid like people are looking at me um I hate going into Ulta I don't know about y'all but I hate going in there it, nobody was rude or anything but it just it feels like a very unhappy place maybe some of y'all know what I mean but uh anyway do any of y'all mothers out there and stuff do y'all do you is that how you spend your date night with your husband is making it productive and fun at the same time I, I don't know that's about all we know what to do know how to do anymore there's not much where we live to do is there no. I'm talking to my husband not myself there's somebody else in the car he just doesn't want to be on the video um, but anyway all right well I hope y'all enjoyed my video uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope wherever you're at you have a blessed one bye
We're here. I am done. I am done. I am done. I am done. Oh, 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 oh,